I never thought I'd say this, but I bought a freaking Tesla. <laughs> It all started right about here. I will I say, mean, yeah. Come on. Oh my God. I got you. Pretty sure I got you. <laughs> oh my God. Or wait, maybe it was. No, 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 I don't like it. I don't like it. I f***ing hate it. Really? Oh my God. Regardless, the first time I drove a plaid, I fell in love. Well guys, here it is, my 2021 Tesla Model S Plaid. Now make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna go over everything that was wrong with my Tesla at delivery, some of which are a huge bummer. Now listen, as a car enthusiast, I never thought I'd buy an electric car, but 1,020 horsepower, zero to 60 in under two seconds in a daily driver, well, that's pretty badass. Quick spec overview, it's finished in deep blue metallic with the 21 inch upgraded arachnid wheels. Now hopping on the interior of the Tesla reveals the two-tone black and white interior. Love the yoke with carbon fiber accents. As someone who loves loud exhaust notes, this is certainly going to be a big change, but I'm excited for you guys to come along for the ride. I literally can't stop launching this car. <laughs> It's too fun! To me, cars are all about the experience they create for the driver. The combination of this crazy yoke that feels like it's out of a fighter jet, the silence and the brutal acceleration creates a vibe in the Tesla Model S Plaid that is truly out of this world. Now, one of the biggest reasons why I decided to get this car, other than the fact that it accelerates as quick as a Bugatti, that actually that was probably one of the main reasons, is the fact that the automotive industry, for better or for worse, is trending towards all electric. While I wish that every new car could come with a screaming, high revving, naturally aspirated V12. <laughs> unfortunately, that's not the case. I've always been curious about owning an electric car. Is range anxiety really that bad? What's the charging experience like? Do you often have to wait in lines? Could I visit family up in Northern California easily without having to wait forever to charge? All of these questions I can't wait to answer via videos on YouTube and also experience for myself, which I'm a little bit nervous about. But I have to say, getting this Tesla was the simplest process I've ever experienced when buying a car. Everything about it was amazing, except for one thing that I really wasn't a big fan of. After reviewing the Plaid, I was so obsessed that the same day I rushed home, hopped on my laptop, spec'd one out, and ordered one. The process was super easy. It took all of five minutes to submit my $250 deposit, spec the car out, even to be approved by Tesla financing. Then I waited about a month and received an email that said your car is ready in two days at the Marina Del Rey Delivery Center. All you have to do is show proof of insurance and make your final payment. Made that payment, I even went through Tesla's insurance, which ended up being cheaper than State Farm. That process was really easy as well. I showed up to the Marina Del Rey Delivery Center. The car was sitting there in the parking lot, clicked a couple buttons on my app, and boom, it unlocked, and the car was mine. It was super easy, and the process makes a ton of sense for the majority of people. That being said, I wish they did something more special for the plaid. There was no grand unveiling. There was no covers coming off. It literally was just sitting there in a parking lot. To finish the video off, I'm gonna show you everything that was wrong with my Tesla Model S Plaid at delivery. Opening the rear of the Plaid reveals a large trunk, only it's supposed to come with a cover that's made from Alcantara that goes over the top so you can't see the trunk from the inside. Well, Tesla had a supply issue and they delivered it without one of those. And it's also missing the Alcantara cover that's supposed to go there. Now this one's a classic. We've got window trim issues right there and right here, but the most glaring one was actually this piece of trim that was just sticking out along the windshield. Now, I don't really care about either of those things, but this I do care about. Check it out. I took delivery of a new Model S Plaid, and there was already a scratch here and a scratch here in the rear bumper before I even drove it. Now, Tesla, of course, said they'd fix all of it, but taking delivery of your new car and it already being damaged, a little bit of a bummer. With that aside, I'm absolutely head over heels in love with my new car, and I can't wait to share all the content I have planned with you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video. Subscribe.